Jackson Pollock once said, life is the balance of unleashed violence and delicately orchestrated lyricism. The changes occurring in the science of endodontics in this, the last decade of the last century of the second millennium, are truly reflective of those parenthetical extremes. The fusion of skill, material, technique, and equipment has enabled a synergism that offers predictability to clinical endodontics that heralds unimaginable possibilities. Most recently, this synergism has been demonstrated by the latest refinement of the Quantex system manufactured and distributed by analytic endodontics. These computer modeled nickel titanium rotary instruments have been modified with access handles. The shorter handle, in conjunction with the access mini head contra angle handpiece, provides additional clearance in posterior regions. The entire Quantec file system of graduating tapers from 0.06 to 0.12 with a consistent ISO tip size of 0.25 millimeters is available with this invaluable modification. The introduction of the Quantec flares has facilitated the establishment of what is euphemistically called the Santa Claus principle of rotary instrumentation. Whether it be visualizing the most effective way to whittle a piece of wood or conceiving a Santa's belly getting stuck in a linear chimney, the premise behind a variable taper versus a variable tip system holds true to the analogies. Maximum efficiency is achieved and controlled by engaging the smallest surface area to perform the work required. Santa can fall further and further down the chimney, provided the shape of the chimney is altered by adjusting the diametral taper of the inner space. The optimal protocol for initiating the shaping sequence of a root canal space is irrefutably crowned down. The extent of the vagaries and complexities of root canal systems has never been disputed, this being most aptly demonstrated by the seminal efforts of Hess. The means whereby they can be discovered and uncovered has finally come to the forefront of technology. The creation of a class one inlay style access preparation along the peripheral aspect of the pulpal floor, wherein the orifice position determines the envelope of preparation is referred to as the glide path. This term suits the access design parameters for the new generation of rotary instruments with their self-centering propensity and their elastic capacity to negotiate even the most complex system. The impact of the crown down approach with step back phasing negates the need for the use of gate slid and drills. Perhaps the most important facet of this paradigm shift in canal shaping is the prevention of the possibility of procedural accidents so inherent in the use of this drill design to affect intraradicular structural removal. The possibility of furcal involvement in the absence of the capacity to visualize the concavity region is obviated. The self-centering design feature of nickel titanium instruments ensures that removal of tooth structure is balanced and directed to the safe walls of the root structure. The use of the traditional stainless steel file series in the role of surveyor or pathfinder is integral to determining the route to be followed by the nickel titanium instruments. If the files can traverse the root canal space to reach the apical constriction, all the better. However, this is not the intention of this initial phase. The sequencing of all files remains dedicated to the apex last approach. Pre-curved instruments will follow the X, Y, and Z axes of curvature and delineate the inner space of the residual canal. This investigatory information is crucial to ensuring that no alteration occurs to the natural canal definition. The initial sequence of intracanal treatment utilizes the access flares in a crown down manner. The 0 0.12, 0 0.25, 0 0.10, 0.25, 0.08.25 and 0.06.25 tapers used in sequence will open up the coronal and middle thirds of the root canal. This tends to create a substantial reservoir for the use of irrigants such as glide, RC prep, and file ease, which are recommended in the preliminary stages of instrumentation when tissue remnants are more evident. These materials tend to prevent fibrin in the pulp tissue from readhering to itself and affecting a soft tissue blockage. 
This coronal reservoir will further surge to ensure greater chemical reactivity within the canal space, thereby affecting a larger volume of dissolution within the more calcified coronal aspect of the root canal space. The use of repeated applications of heated sodium hypochlorite throughout to optimize dissolution of organic debris facilitates chemical cleansing of unique proportions. The opening of the coronal and middle thirds of the root canal space in conjunction with the surveying phase of canal preparation creates a pathway to the apical constriction. The use of an electrometric apex finder, such as the model 7005 or 8005 from analytic endodontics, ensures the accuracy of the coronal apical length determination regardless of the canal contents. A step back approach from the apical construction using the four, five, and six Quantec files with a crown down approach and using the eight and seven Quantec file as well defines the flow characteristics required to prevent a premature constriction at the junctional point of canal curvature, which approximates the area of the middle and apical third confluence. While this change in directional focus is not required in larger canals, it nonetheless has empirically proven to be valuable in more complicated and calcified scenarios. Using the four, five, and six Quantec files in a step-back sequence sculpts the definition of the apical third. At this juncture, the two, three, and possibly the four Quantec file should be inserted to a position adjacent to the apical constriction. The 0 0.02 taper, 0.25 tip, or number four, the 0 0.03 taper, 0.25 tip, or number five, and the 0 0.04 taper, 0.25 tip, the number six, will develop the rheologic shape needed to flow from the interface of the apical and the one-third to the constriction. This area is most crucial in terms of its design as the presence of turbulence in the wave vectors of the thermolabile catapercha flow will alter the maximum degree of density achievable in the apical region. As in any other shaping technique, patency and removal of the apical fibrous plug is of paramount importance. Use of the seven and eight Quantec files in a crown down manner affects a continuum between the crown down phase that initiated the instrumentation and the step back sculpting phase that defines the apical one third. The blending phase ensures that the diametral size of the canal is equilibrated throughout the length without the potential for a constriction at the middle and apical third that all too often occurs. This constriction results in a poorly condensed apical segment and obstructs the flow characteristics of the thermolabile gutta percha. Use of the 4, 9, and 10 Quantec files ensures that the apical seat created terminates at the apical constriction, thereby ensuring that the smallest diameter within the canal is the cemento-dentinal junction. In this way, non-standardized gutta percha cones can be fit just shy of the terminus and this ensures that vertical displacement vectors will densely compact the thermal labile gutta percha into the construction, much like a cork seats into the opening of the wine bottle. The prime directive of shaping the root canal space remains a seamless integration with the glide path access preparation in order to affect a seamless integration with the coronal restoration. The Nitai revolution has created a protocol for judicious, conservative removal of intraradicular substance. Yet at the same time, it has optimized the chemical dissolution of inoculum throughout the entirety of the ramifications of the root canal space.